Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Crystal M. Compton and I'm here today with Mr. Koo. He likes to look at the wall, kind of like the end scene of Blair Witch. I think he thinks if he looks at the wall, we can't see him. <laughs> He's a shy bubby, but he likes to be with me. And especially when I'm in my space, my studio, my meditation room, he just kind of likes to be in the energy of it. So if he's moving around in the background, just, you know, give him a little space because he just wants to be with us because we're cool. Right, Mr. Koo? He says yes. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a three card oracle card reading. Now, what you're going to do as the viewer is you're going to select the card intuitively that is meant for you. And in the card that you select, there is going to be a message from spirit. Can I get an amen? And we're going to believe that and we're going to trust that. All we have to do is be open to spirit and to hear from spirit. And guess what? When we are open, spirit shows up every single time. And so does Ku sometimes, which we love. I don't know what he's doing back there. He's just hanging out. So I'm going to hold up three cards and you're going to pick intuitively which card is for you. And then after you've selected, I'm going to turn the cards around and we're going to get into the meaning of the cards. And again, within the card you select, there's a message for you. Starting with, let's get into our intuitive zhuzhi energy. Let's start connecting, putting out our psychic feelers as I hold up card number one. Is this your card? Does this card have your message? Card number one. All right, moving on from card number one, we're going to go to card number two. Card number two, intuitively, how do you feel about this card? Do you vibe with it? He found his spot right in front of the Hamsa and the Buddha. Card number two. And last but not least, we got your card number three. Card number three. How do you feel about this card? Is this your card? Is there a message for you in this card? Card number three. All right, very quickly, I'm going to cycle through those again. And you're just going to get certain with which card is yours. Card number one. Card number two, or card number three. Now what I want you to do is trust the first answer that came through, the first feeling you had, the first thing that you saw, the first thing that you heard, which indicated a specific card. I want you to trust that because you can trust that. You can trust your intuition and you can trust spirit. And in an act of faith that you can trust this, I want you to drop down into the comment section and let me know what card you selected before you actually see it, before you actually receive the message, claim it. That's my message. It's card number one. It's card number three. It's card number two. Drop down. Let me know what card you're selecting. Me and Mr. Ku want to know. All right. As you are dropping down to comment, I'm going to pull out the interpretation book, and I'm also going to show you what deck we are using today. We are using the Archangel Animal Oracle Card Deck by Diana Cooper. It's a really beautiful deck. The messages are powerful, but also really sweet. And I love the artwork as well. Diana Cooper, Archangel Animal Oracle Cards, a 44 card deck and guidebook. All right, now that you've written down what card you selected? Let's get into the meanings of each card. Card number one. For all of you ones out there, you selected guinea pig. Look at that cute little guinea pig. And he's, he's in like a, he's in a cloud nebula. He's out in space. Guinea pigs in space. The guinea pig's message is to do your part to illuminate the universe. And this particular spirit totem or animal spirit totem is connected to the Archangel Mary. 
the guidance associated with this card or the message is, this is the card of love. Just reading it starts to connect you energetically to the guinea pigs and through them to the cosmic heart. Be open to receiving a download of agape, unconditional love. Remember that when love flows from your heart, it ignites the hearts of all around you. My husband just walked in. We have a lot of visitors today. Oh, it's a busy day. Then for a brief and glorious moment, you activate the light up the stellar links throughout creation with bright pink love. In this way, you do your part to illuminate the universe. In response, the cosmos, the universe, God floods you with love and all manner of abundance. Just relax and trust, this card is saying to you, knowing that love is coming to you and it's also moving through you. You are being called to illuminate the universe with your love. And so maybe open up your heart. Let those wounds down. Let that unforgiveness go and just connect those higher links, those divine links. Connect to the source of all things from whom all miracles flow. Be that love in order to receive that love. Guinea pig, you all card number one. Yes, sir. Moving on now to card number two. Card number two is the llama. The llama. Look at that light beam right between those two llamas, twin llamas. Yes, the llama. This card tells you to set clear boundaries and don't set a boundary if you're not going to enforce it. Enforce those boundaries. And the llama is affiliated with Archangel Hamuel, also Shamuel. The message associated with the llama is as follows. This is also a card of pure love. It suggests that your heart is warm and open so that you may let others impose sometimes on your good nature and even drain you. Decide right now what is acceptable for you. Then it is important to set clear boundaries around that. As we are all energetically entwined, it may be enough for you to define these boundaries mentally. However, your guidance is to be prepared to enforce your boundaries tactfully if necessary. Then you will find it easier to follow your heart and to be loyal, caring, and patient with your loved ones and with those in need. Remember also to find time to see positive friends and to do things that make you feel relaxed and happy, as this will give you energy and keep your frequency high. It will benefit you to tune into the cosmic heart for love and support. So maybe you need to set a boundary right now. Or maybe you're the kind of person who says, I'm going to set this boundary or someday I'm going to stand up to this person. Well, maybe spirit is telling you that now is the time to enforce your boundary and to put yourself and your purpose and your path first. The Lama means set clear boundaries and enforce them. All right, finally, card number three. I know you threes have been waiting. You ready? Those of you who picked card number three selected the card of the badger. The badger. The badger tells us to bring our life into balance. And the badger is associated with Archangels Mary and Sandalphon. And for those of you who don't know, Sandalphon was the man Elijah, spoken of in the Old Testament. He is the prophet who was taken up in a chariot of fire. So he did not die. He was in fact ascended or he shifted. He transmuted literally into the archangel Sandalphon. And because he was once human, he has a very keen interest to work with spiritual people who are also in the process of transmutation and shift. Now, for those of you who received card number three, the message suggests that you need to strengthen your aura by building your confidence and expanding your heart. Invoke the great Archangel Mary and ask her to bathe you in love. Then sit quietly and receive it. Breathe in her energy, then breathe it out around you until you are surrounded by a blue cocoon of high frequency light. This will help you to deal with any negativity others might be sending to you. The badger also calls you to do service work for the planet. Connect to their energy through this card and then link into Archangel Sandalphon, the great silver angel in charge of the Earth Star Chakra. 
Let Archangel Mary's love and light flow through you into the earth and direct it through the ley lines. Picture them becoming golden and radiant. The badgers remind you to bring your life into balance. This may be to draw your leisure and work lives into harmony, or to share chores in your home, or to bring your masculine and feminine energies into equilibrium. Then you can fulfill your purpose with joy. Bring your life into balance. Once again, guinea pig, do your part to illuminate the universe by being love and giving love and receiving love. Number two, the llama. Have some boundaries and don't forget to enforce them. Last but not least, the badger. Bring that life into balance, whatever that means for you. All right, what I'd love for you to do now is to drop down into the comments and let me know if this makes sense to you. Let me know if this resonates with you. Um, but even if it doesn't, I just want you to kind of keep that message in your awareness. Because often when I receive messages and sometimes downloads, when they come through, they don't necessarily make a ton of sense for me in that moment, but later in the day or in the week or in the month or even the year, everything kind of clicks into place and I say, aha, now I know what spirit was trying to tell me. This makes total sense. Or I'll remember, oh my gosh, I am now confronted with a situation and I really do need some clear boundaries or I really do need to bring my life into balance. So just keep the message in your awareness and I hope that it blesses you. I know that it blesses you because it comes from spirit. I just want to say that my intention is to do these three card oracle card readings with you at least once a week, preferably on Wednesdays, and at least for the next couple of months until the next intensive starts, because when the intensive starts, my life gets pretty intense. But I kind of want to get on a schedule with these because I need these messages too. And that's one of the really cool things about being a spiritual practitioner, an intuitive reader, a healer, an inspirer, whatever it is that you are. You, if this is something that you do, you already know that as you're working in divine energy and you're working in the beautiful messages that come from spirit, you receive in equal measure as, as the sitter does or your client does or the person listening does. I receive a blessing. You receive a blessing. So how about weekly we get some blessings up in here. I know that I love it and I would love to do that for you. So I'm going to try and schedule these on Wednesdays and please know it doesn't matter when you watch this. If you're watching this five years from now, just know consciousness is non-local. It's not fixed to your body or to this incarnation. And likewise, God is non-local spirit is non-local higher self is non-local and spirit has the capacity and the tools and knows how to reach you timelessly exactly when you need it so if you're listening to this at a later time but it makes sense to you that's because it's for you and on that note ku and i and you can't see him can't see his body right there ku and i wish you a beautiful weekend and i hope you know I hope you know that we have nothing but love for you. Bye, guys.